A microclimate is a climate of a small area. Examples of these microclimates are small wooded areas or urban communities. A microclimate is a different climate than the one around it. There are many factors that affect microclimates, such as heavily paved areas which heat up very fast. Buildings are another factor due to the large amount of heating in the winter time. Buildings also affect the natural wind system. They also act as a conductor of heat and by either affecting the wind flow or acting as a wind tunnel. Pavement in buildings also prevent the natural precipitation from absorbing back into the ground. They also affect the relative humidity. The temperature will change the air pressure as well. Temperature changing from urbanization will also affect the air pressure. The first microclimate we will be examining is a sheltered area. We will use the flag to determine which way the wind is going. It is now 11-11. We will hold a compass directly under the flag to determine wind direction. The wind is coming from the south. The wind direction on top of the school is east-southeast. Now we will use the pocket anometer to determine wind speed. The time is 11.16. The pocket anometer is currently reading that it is between 0 and 5 kilometers an hour. The wind speed on top of the school is 11 kilometers an hour. It is now 11.19. We will be using the sling psychrometer to correctly measure the humidity out here in the sheltered area. First, before using the sling psychrometer, there are two sides the dry bulb side and the wet bulb side. Taking your finger, you will wet the wet bulb side and then you'll sling it around 50 times. Six on the wet bulb side and 70 on the dry bulb side. Now you will take the differences between the wet bulb side and the dry bulb side, minusing the two, which is 14. And you'll look from the dry bulb side, which was 70, and then if you look up here on the wet bulb side, you, the subtracted difference which equals 14, you will go down here to the 70 which equals 40. The humidity on top of the school is 43%. Now to measure air pressure, you will need to use a barometer. The time is now 11.31. The air pressure is 761 millibars. The air pressure on top of the school is 983. Finally, probably the most commonly used one is the thermometer. The time is currently 1134 and the temperature is 18 degrees. The temperature on top of the school is 17 degrees. The building beside the microclimate is blocking the wind. On top of the school, the wind is blocked and therefore faster and also from a slightly different direction. One of the reasons the humidity is higher on top of the school is because the wind picks up moisture from the river. Perhaps the temperature is higher in the sheltered area because the heat is being absorbed, whereas on top of the school, the wind is pushing away the heat. Now that you understand the properties of a microclimate and the tools used to measure them, you are prepared to study them and better understand your surroundings. B.I.G. Bird.